So today would probably be the first day any FD sort of stuff is going on. Me, Andy, and Alberto are heading to the track where they are going to tech the car. Uh, basically, what do we say, Andy? It's, he spends about like an hour on the car. Yeah, Forty-five minutes to an okay, hour. Yeah. Forty-five. But it's this is not like your typical tech at a track. He's going through all the safety equipment, um, making sure the car like meets regulations. We're not cheating, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Any comments, Alberto? It's kind of cool, so they put they put their car on this like little ramp that put it on scales. The first thing they'll do is weight the car, and then he'll do a visual inspection over the outside of the car, make sure everything's fasting. Um, he'll check for oil leaks and stuff like that, make sure that everything that's oil, flowing oil or fluids, it's within the engine compartment, and then all the safety aspects of the fire suppression system fuel line secured, there's no lines like loose or running inside the car, make sure there's no loose wires or powers that are un uncovered and then he'll check um, suspension stuff like you're limited to like OEM suffering and stuff, the height, stuff like that. Sounds like somebody read the rule book. <laughs> Many times. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like all the other FD rigs are here already. A nice electric car you got there. I'm glad you picked up on my joke. I thought you thought I was serious. <laughs> it's so funny that our little rinky dink track has such like a big mainstream event. I've quickly learned that I thought I thought it was so cool having a you know a white a white dually. Everybody here so far has had a white dually. I guess it's like the uh, it's the it's the it's the 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 the, 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 the. We made it in the pits right and I'm here. checking out Close some of the competition. The this guy's got a similar setup. We're trying to copy some it's of his like, stuff. <laughs> Sometimes. What's up, guys? Oh, hey, dude. We're I was doing Jay Z stuff here. We're I was doing, like, we're, we're checking out the competition. We're trying to steal some trade Not secrets. Competition. We're going to make Adam's car crazy as we can. Yeah, you said my car revs too high, so now I'm sad. No, it doesn't rev too high, but we're drifting, so it's like you might hurt some. Oh, I got some secret sauce to tell you. So we've been trying to do a similar thing with having all the wise fab arms already measured out and stuff so that way they're ready to go. If you get into an accident or anything, you can just steal them right off the rack, but he's got a really nice setup. we got windshield wipers. Look at that. So we've successfully won the first day of Formula Drift by passing tech. So that's good. We still need to uh, have the car weighed and like have some measurements taken, but for the most part we're good. So that's exciting. Now we go home and show you guys the new big surprise. No, I know I really haven't said much about this or hyped it up much because honestly it was a, a pretty last minute thing Probably decided this about like a week or two ago, but we do have a new rig showing up that is inbound from California that our friend Sean is driving over And I'm excited to show you. I got some explaining to do. Looks so good with the new front lip story behind this rig, um, Sean next door actually picked it up from California for us because he wanted to bring some stuff back from California so it worked out well. And it's funny, we're all sitting here just waiting eagerly for it to pull up and every time we hear a truck go by, it's like, oh, is that it? Is that it? There it is. Well, dude. dude. Fire. Sorry, wrong, wrong place, brother. Is that air brakes? Do I feel the ground shaking? <laughs> I'm just playing. Just playing. Am I? Wait, does that have air brakes? Sick. All right, guys, so here's the big reveal. I don't, I don't even know how to do this. I haven't hyped it up that much or anything, but I told you guys there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on behind the scenes, and this was kind of a last minute decision, and I'll walk you guys through it, but we got to tow her home with a stacker trailer. And here she is. So if you guys know anything about FD, you might recognize this is JTP's old rig. Super, super, super clean setup. It's a 2008 Renegade. It's got pretty low miles on it. I'm about to give you guys the full tour. All right, so we'll walk up and back real quick. There's a ton of stuff going on right now, so this is probably gonna be a bit of a jumbled up video. So in here, we got our bathroom and our shower. Okay, got some fridges. Got like stove and cook stuff and microwave. Okay, so before I, before I detail you guys anymore, we're gonna chill for a minute. So we're running around like chickens with our heads cut off right now. Oh boy, probably better off if I switch over here. Cause of the light. Okay, so 
here's the logic. We get a two car gooseneck for the truck. We're gonna be overweight, it's inevitable. The problem is, if we're overweight, we don't have a CDL. And the extra problem is, I wanted to get a really nice two car gooseneck, but here's the other thing. It's a pain because they're super, super long, not that this isn't a pain, but moreover, I, since day one, have wanted a stacker. If you remember when I got my F250, I was stupid and thought I'd be able to pull a stacker behind that. My end goal was always to have a stacker. I thought it was the coolest thing and have multiple cars, be able to move around with multiple cars. And I knew that if I got a really nice gooseneck trailer, I would end up getting a stacker down the road and I would have lost a bunch of money on that nice gooseneck trailer for no reason. This toter popped up actually on Facebook classifieds. And when we talked around with people, JTP takes amazing care of his stuff, worked out a really good deal with him for this thing. And now we've got a stacker, trailer, toter home. Like if we have three cars, sleep like five people or something. So this got like bed here, this whole thing slides out. Uh, there might be a way to sleep on these, I don't know. We literally just got this today, so I don't know that much about it. Sleep up there. It's really, really nice. Really, really good condition. Got Tommy and Pat that are gonna help drive this thing. I'm gonna try to drive it too. We got a TV, we got an Xbox, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'll take you guys to the good side. This is gonna be a super jumbled up video. We'll give you guys more of a tour later and tell you more about it, but like right now we're super Russian because we need to be not super Russian like from Russia, but super rushing like we're rushing to get stuff done because we need to have this whole thing loaded and prepared to start unloading at the track tomorrow. Yeah, okay, so we'll go out here now. Okay, exit, let me turn the lights off, okay. Okay, I'm very excited about this. Don't let my uh, massive chaos stress confuse you. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, F-250 technically is getting replaced for bigger events, which is where we'll use this. This wasn't as much for FD as it was for um, a lot of the other like fun events we do to bring like maybe the Porsche or the Mustang as well as the drift cars. Uh, FD will be nice to have, but moreover, we're still going to use the F-250 or the F-350, whatever it is, the dually, to uh, you know move around with the single car trailer for smaller stuff because there's no reason this is a lot of work to move around with this rig. So there's still some little Easter eggs that I'll have to show you guys down the road, but this it's a bad mom, 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 can't even speak, I'm so excited. This is a bad mamma jam over here. Little things you'll notice. Whole trailer's got generator, compressed air, AC. This is a race trailer. Best thing inside of here is this man right here. <laughs> so anyway, we'll walk up here. This is the awning, it's got a sweet awning. We got space for two cars up here. Not one, not two, but two cars up here. All right, so that's the AC unit. It's not working right now, but we're gonna have to fix that. That's cool. Um, and yeah, so we got two cars. Right now, like I said, we're loading everything in. Got all these cabinets and stuff. Look at all that rad Permatex stuff. So Permatex has been a great friend of ours um, and uh, keeps us stocked with their stuff. You guys know we love the thread locker. This is a rad high temp gasket maker that we've been using for a lot of stuff as well. Whatever, we, we'll talk more about that later. Got all the pallets of stuff. Old logo, new logo, whatever. Okay, so back here. I mean, there's so much to show you guys. The doors closed and AC stays in here and brooms and... Pat, I don't even know where to start, dude. It'd be like a day-long tour to show this thing off. Yeah. Yeah, so... Stuff, my favorite thing is gonna be... Alright, picture this. Me, Matt, and Taylor, and our three missile 350Zs unloading on this sick lift gate. Picture a tin can just being lifted down like it's this pristine race car from this giant trailer. And then we and we park all our 350Zs that look like scrap metal next to it, and then we have the most fun in the world because that's what drifting is about. So anyway, stuff like that is what's got me really, really excited to have something like this. It'll be nice for FD, but I could have definitely run an FD season out of a smaller trailer. Um, it's just gonna be cool and rad to have this, and everyone's excited about it. And it was probably a terrible decision, and I'm probably gonna go broke. But it's okay. That's what racing's about. Oh yeah, this is all Swiss tracks. We got Swiss tracks for underneath the awning. Shulman loves the Swiss tracks. If you guys noticed, Shulman is back only because of the Swiss tracks. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm back for He's ex no, but he's excited. He loves Swiss tracks. Like he's even got Tommy walking around supervising. Dude, that's that's my job. You got your own rig driver now. You got your own. You got your old, old showman's back? No, he's, he's my Swiss tracks guy. Yeah, old showman's back? Old showman. No, you, you good boy. Showman's a little sensitive sometimes. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'll help no, you! No. Let me help no. you! 
No. Let me help you. That's a lot of Swiss tracks. Heavy, Thousand square feet of Swiss tracks right there. Hey, you know, you made me edit my clip, Tommy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so this happened before the big reveal that we just showed you guys, but I'm getting my new rig. Oh, hey, Pat. Hey, man, what's up, brother? Pat's on board. Mm -hmm. Pat is my new designated trucker. Don't say that. <laughs> Tommy's getting left in the dust with the F-350. Oh. You thought your rig was cool, man. We're my house. You look good in here, Pat. Thanks, man. I'm feeling old. Dang, did you get air in that seat? Yeah, dude. Air out, dog. Do that again. Do that again. Do that again. Oh. <laughs> 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 Me and Alberta spent some time trying to work out a little bug with the tune where the, the throttle kind of like tip in enrichment is a little bit weird when you first kind of like blip the throttle. But uh, Zach from ECU Master is going to be at the track tomorrow, so he's going to help us diagnose it there. And we get to do the first load up on the upper decker. Look at how sick this thing is. I'm having Andy do it just so I can film it. You call him? You seahorsing around? This is the coolest thing in the world. So the guys have been putting in work on this massive awning for the trailer. They're doing logos and stuff right now. It's gonna look really, really good though. Check it out. So the, uh, the big companies that are sponsoring me for this season went ahead and put their logos on here. It's coming out really sick. So these awnings are not cheap and I'm pumped on it. Lucky that it came with the toter. I'm gonna go get some pizza for everybody. I'm pumped because the main thing we were missing, like we had the radios and that's like pretty, pretty good for a pretend race car team. But now we got the pretend race car trailer too. So we're rolling up with the pretend radios, the pretend team and the pretend rig now so we can go have more fun. Stoked. Okay, Uncle Pat, you can't tell me I can't go up here. It's my toter. Do whatever you want, bud. I'll do what I want. Hey, is that back door locked? Because I think I left it open. It's a back door? Yeah. It's probably open. Dude, my back door is always open. <laughs> I will say, we are very, very fortunate that the first round is actually in Orlando. Um, having a new rig, having a new team and everything, it makes it really easy for us with infrastructure in terms of transporting people, getting people here, and uh, really just kind of trial and error, figuring out the ropes and everything, because we can't just run to my house if we need something. We can't just run to the shop. If we need to call up a friend, we can call up a friend. So I'm really, really excited to have the first round both at a track that I'm comfortable with, a uh, track that's close to my home, and a track where I know there'll be a lot of local support. So I'm excited, there's a lot of pressure. Um, a lot of people that want to see us do well, a lot of people that don't want to see us do well. So, just in general, just a lot of people that want to see us, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just having fun, just playing pretend race car driver in my Mustang. Getting pizza for my homies. Yay. She's even got sick headlights. Hey. All right, so we're gonna wrap up today with that. Uh, pretty much all loaded up, ready to go. Like I said, tomorrow's gonna be loading day, so we've got all the stuff that we need to unpack. I can show you the rig setup with everything set up. Uh, so that would be tomorrow, then we have qualifying the following day, then we hopefully have top 16 on Friday, which uh, will be sick, hopefully I do well, and then we just hang out on Saturday, and that's it. So that's our schedule, and now I'm going to get some sleep so we can have some fun at the track tomorrow.